Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a review of the 15 inch travel sized Zaza and Sachi backgammon board. And so I have all three boards stacked up against each other. So you could see how much a few inches make. Okay, so up on top, if you've seen my reviews, this is the 20 inch Zaza and Sachi. So and now imagine how smaller the 15 inch is going to look as we take a look at the 23 incher. So that's the uh, 23 up on top, 20 in the middle, and the travel size 15 incher at the bottom. Um, notice that the 15 inch at the bottom and the 23 inch at the top supposedly have the same point colors, which is Casablanca and Tuscany. And I hope the camera's picking it up, but as you can see, the 15 inch, the colors are seem different, even though they're calling it the same name. So I much prefer the 15 inch ones, but um, the 23 inch, I guess it's, it's fine too. But um, I'm just wondering if it's just a variation in leather or if it's, they're all are like that. So anyhow, all right. So this is just the uh, size comparison. So you guys could see size by size, it does make a difference. Up on top, we have one and three quarter inch checkers. In the middle, one and a half, I believe. And down at the bottom, one and three sixteenths size checkers. Okay. Okay, so again, this is the uh, 15 inch Zaza and Sachi travel size board. Um, like I said, after my last Zaza and Sachi review, uh, the prices have gone up. So this was used to be 695 I believe now the price is 795 so $800 plus tax shipping you're looking at about 840 for this little guy here um, again the checkers are 1 and 3 sixteenths pretty small uh, you do not get a scorecard you do not get Dice cups, no dice cups. You do get precision dice mailed separately like the uh, Gavin Village does. You do get a doubling cube. And for some reason, Zaza and Sachi did a, I'm gonna say passable job with the uh, doubling cube on this board compared to the other boards. Um, it's okay, it's like a half inch cube uh, with silver numbers um, as opposed to the cube you get with the 23 inch. Some of the numbers are starting to flake off and as you can see, it's there's not much, well, there, this is more of a inch, so an inch I would say, or three quarters of an inch. Um, so this is acceptable for this size board. This is not acceptable for the 23 inch board. So what I did was since I think it's a little too small, I used the, this cube for this board. You know, I think uh, the ratio to a cube size is adequate here. So I'll probably end up replacing it because, I mean, I don't know if the number's gonna keep flaking off, but anyways, I think I'm, okay, I'm over that. So, okay, so, again, the colors are Tuscany and Casablanca, the same as the 23 inch, but like I've shown you at the beginning of the video, um, colors are different. Okay, this one's a little more, orange and brighter the others colors are a, li are a little more toned down i would say okay 
Okay, so right off the bat with the negatives with this board. Obviously a big negative for $800, you don't get dice cups. That's a huge negative, especially if, it's, if you're looking to buy this board as your only board. Um, you're gonna have to roll dice with your hands or you're gonna have to buy separate dice cups. And I haven't seen these Zaza and Sachi cups sold separately. Um, so I don't know. If you look into Jeffrey Parker, I think they're right about $300 to $500, I believe, for two dice cups. Okay. All right, so that's the first negative. The second negative is this board is not going to be used for any tournaments except maybe some of the side events, but even then, you might have some people that will just refuse to play on your board just because of the size of the checkers, the size of the board. Um, so just be ready to face some uh, or friction when you, uh, if you want to use this board at a tournament. I think the smallest I've seen uh, in tournament use is 20 inches. So um, another negative. You, this might vary from person to person, but. Since the checkers are so small, um, and I know the Middle, Middle Eastern boards um, have smaller boards and they use small checkers too, so it's easier if um, they're dished. But as you move them around, you know, it's kind of easy to move them. But um, I guess that's nitpicking a little bit, you know, because there's not a really an issue of the uh, checkers sliding around, you know, they glide pretty easily you know so but you know it would have been a tad more easier if they were dished you know then you could just you know wouldn't have any issues uh let's see so that's a that's it so not a lot of negatives on this board um positives i love the colors this is um the oranges are not too uh bright uh, the white is very dull and subtle uh, the field color is a nice black okay uh, it's all leather materials um, it's very travel friendly um, you have two handles which to me that's a must for any board that I have or will have is I gotta have handles because eventually you know, if you carry your board on the side or on your hand or, you know, it's gonna slip off your hand and you're gonna drop it. So I just wanna be extra careful or play it safe and just have a, um, handles. Um, they are magnetic, so when you close, you know, it's secured safely. Um, I'll probably shoot a separate bit or a separate, um, I'll let you guys see how it closes. Um, again, the build quality, quality is very nice. Um, it has, oddly enough, less flaws than the uh, 23 inch board. Um, I hardly see any leather sticking out from the seams or from the edges. Um, all the points are very, very um, precisely laid in. Um, virtually zero flaws on this board um, wow, it's very nice so I would only recommend this to uh, I mainly use it just to study from put different positions in when I'm on my bed it's perfect size you can sit on your lap um, I don't know if you're going to see you sit on your lap watching TV moving checkers around um, so it's perfect for that uh, it's also perfect if you're just playing somebody for fun you, you know maybe you not a lot of money or just you know maybe you're teaching somebody the game you know that's an ideal but it might be overkill to spend eight hundred dollars um, for you know just as a teaching tool um, let's see let's see what the positives um, yeah that's about it I mean if you do choose to use a uh, baffle box 
Um, it, even though it doesn't, it has a handle, it will work. I've never, I don't like using a baffle box on my leather board just because I don't want them to get scratched over time because some people tend to pound the dice inside and you know over time it's going to scratch your board so uh, just for this purpose of this video I'll just show you that it is possible to use a baffle box you know on this board you know without problem and I'll do a separate review on the uh, this baffle box is uh, probably seen it around in tournaments. It's the newest baffle box, uh, you know, new flavor of the month baffle box, which I enjoy. It's the quietest one around. It's easy to assemble, you know, easy to take apart, put back together, and you can pretty much stick it into any board. But you know, if you if you saw Neil Casaros in the last LA tournament, uh, he was complaining about this baffle box by uh, AP or um, Cat Gammon, but AP also uh, sells them. Um, but I was noticing he was doing some things that tend to make the dice bounce out of these baffle boxes as opposed to the other ones, but that's, I'll do another separate video on baffle boxes. Okay, so just so you get a nice feel for the uh, board. Argument's sake, let's say a five four for white. Okay, five four. Yeah, orange. Five two for orange. Five. Wait, it's orange turn. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Orange is turn five. I guess we'll split two. Okay, now I'm using the smaller size dice, so I'm pretty much, that's the only size you're probably gonna be able to use, so you'll get a better, um, you know, roll of the dice, or so the dice could roll a little better, I guess. All right, six, four. Six, four. point run okay I guess we're running here Something's off here. Let's see. Let's see here. Double aces. All right, one, two, three. Who's the last ace? I guess we're playing bold. Yeah, I think I misplayed something. Yeah, I probably did. You guys will probably notice. So two, six, well, six, 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 jumping out. All right, so you can see there's no issue picking up the, uh, the checker, slide them around, you know. You know, they are small, so, but it's doable, it's workable. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you a close up now at the board. Okay, we see here a close-up of the board. You have your Saza and Sachi emblem. 
perfectly placed this time. Okay, you have your handle. Okay, as you can see, build quality is very nice. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention that these all these points are smooth leather as opposed to the 20 inch, which some of the uh, one of the points is Dolaro leather, the other one's smooth. Here it's all smooth as well as the 23 inch. So I don't know why. I don't know. Okay, as you see, fit and finish, excellent. Okay, all the checkers fit nicely into the uh, to their slot. No trouble closing the board. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous little board. Okay, and I'm gonna shoot a separate video of closing it. Okay, now that all the checkers are put in place, I'll show you there's no issue closing board. You know, boom, good to go. You have your nice board to take with you. You know, it's very light. I would guess maybe, I don't know, eight pounds if that so okay all right see you next time okay ladies and gentlemen this is a review of the 15 inch travel sized Zaza and Sachi backgammon board and so I have all three boards stacked up against each other so you could see how much a few inches make okay so up on top if you see my reviews this is the 20 inch Zaza and Sachi so and now imagine how smaller the 15 inch is going to look as we take a look at the 23 incher. So that's the uh, 23 up on top, 20 in the middle, and the travel size 15 incher at the bottom. Um, notice that the 15 inch at the bottom and the 23 inch at the top supposedly have the same point colors which is Casablanca and Tuscany and I hope the camera's picking it up but as you can see the 15 inch the colors are seem different even though they're calling it the same name so I much prefer the 15 inch ones but um, the 23 inch I guess it's it's fine too but um, I'm just wondering if it's just a variation in leather or if it's they all are like that so anyhow all right so this is just the uh, size comparison so you guys can see size by size it does make a difference up on top we have one and three quarter inch checkers in the middle one and a half I believe and down at the bottom one and three sixteenths size checkers okay Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a review of the 15 inch travel sized Zaza and Sachi backgammon board. And so I have all three boards stacked up against each other. So you could see how much a few inches make. Okay, so up on top. If you've seen my reviews, this is the 20 inch Zaza and Sachi. So, and now imagine how smaller the 15 inch is going to look as we take a look at the 23 incher. So, that's the uh, 23 up on top, 20 in the middle, and the travel size 15 incher at the bottom. 
Um, notice that the 15 inch at the bottom and the 23 inch at the top supposedly have the same point colors, which is Casablanca and Tuscany. And I hope the camera's picking it up, but as you can see, the 15 inch, the colors are seem different, even though they're calling it the same name. So I much prefer the 15 inch ones, but um, the 23 inch, I guess it's, it's fine too, but um, I'm just wondering if it's just a variation in leather or if it's, they're all are like that. So anyhow, all right, so this is just the uh, size comparison. So you guys can see size by size, it does make a difference. Up on top, we have one and three quarter inch checkers. In the middle, one and a half, I believe. And down at the bottom, one and three sixteenths size checkers. Okay.